Hi students, this is Alex here. In this video, we are going to solve the integration problem by partial fraction. You notice we have sine term everywhere. So let's take t equal to sin x substitution. Now this will become integral 1 minus t by t into 1 plus t dx. We cannot use dt here because we don't have cos x. Now let's take the expression alone 1 minus t by t into 1 plus t. We find the numerator degrees 1, denominator degrees 2, that is a rational expression and we have two factors in the denominator, one is t, another is 1 plus t. Already we discussed about the partial fraction rules. When we have different factors in the denominator, we use the first rule which is a by first factor plus b by second factor plus c by third factor if there is a third factor. So we have two factors here. If I apply the rule, it will become a by first factor t plus b by second factor 1 plus t and we have to take LCM, LCM is t into 1 plus t and here it is a into 1 plus t plus b into t. Now equating both numerator we get 1 minus t equal to this term because we have same denominator so we are going to equate both the sides numerator so 1 minus t equal to a into 1 plus t plus b into t. We have to take suitable values for t to find the constant a and b. Let's take 0. So the equation become 1 equal to this will become a and the other part will be 0. We got the value of 1 constant a. In the same way if I take t equal to minus 1 this will become 2 equal to and this will become 0 and this will become minus b. So from this the value of b we got as minus 2. After getting these two value a and b, we have to substitute that in the place where we apply the partial fraction rule. So a by t. So it is 1 by t integral dx and second term is minus 2 by b is minus 2. So minus 2 by 1 plus t. So we get 1 plus t but we have dx. Since the integration is with respect to x, we have to replace the t, t is nothing but sin x. So here integral 1 by sin x dx, if you take minus 2 common, we have dx by 1 plus sin x. Now the first term is cosecant x. So cosecant x dx minus 2 integral. Here we have to multiply the conjugate. So in numerator and denominator we multiply by 1 minus sin x. So the numerator will be as it is that is 1 minus sin x. Denominator will become 1 minus sin square x a plus b into a minus b. So 1 plus sin x into 1 minus sin x is 1 minus sin square x. So the first term we are writing as it is cosecant x dx minus 2 integral and numerator we have 1 minus sin x denominator is 1 minus sin square x is cos square x dx now here we are going to divide individually so the first term written as it is cosecant x dx minus 2 integral when I divide individually 1 by cos square x is the first term then minus sin x by cos square x but cos square x I am writing cos x into cos x so that this can be taken as tan. So let's rewrite everything. First term cosecant x dx minus 2 integral this is secant square x minus this is 1 by cos is secant x secant x sin by cos is tan. So secant x tan x dx. Now we are going to apply the integration formula. Integration of cosecant x is log mod cosecant x minus cot x minus 2 bracket open. Integration of secant square x is tan x and integration of secant x tan x is secant x plus c. And even this log 
cosine x minus cot x can be further simplified as log of tan x by 2 if you want. Otherwise, this is also fine.